and welcome back to LG's Hen House. Today I was going to talk to you guys about the different chickens that we have in our coop. We try to have a variety of chickens. We didn't necessarily want all the same kinds. So as we've seen different breeds, we kind of looked into them and seen what we liked. And the ones that kind of, I don't want to say look ugly, but they're cute in their own way. And then ones where we specifically got them for the color of eggs that they have, or just because they just look beautiful in general. So I'm gonna go through the coop and I'm gonna get each chicken individually, except for one because she's broody and she's laying on some eggs right now. So we're just gonna let her be, but I'll talk about her and I'll just introduce you to our flock. First off, I wanna show my girl Dorothy here. She is part of the first two that we got for our flock. She is a silky cochin mix and she was the first one for us to start laying. She is the head honcho around here. We really like her feathering. She's got that silver kind of color going on with the black lacing and by her head it's a lot darker you can tell with the silky that she's got the black skin the black bluish skin she lays a small kind of like a creamish light brown colored egg like her little top hat thing that she's got going on there with the silky as well she's got the feathered well coaching too they both have the feathered the feathered legs and the five toes. She's the first one to come running when I open up the door. She always knows that I have treats. She's beautiful. We'll just let her, yep. Next I'm gonna talk about Lucy. She is the second chicken that we got. I'm not actually gonna show her to you right now because she is the one that's broody. She's laying on some eggs right now, but I'll show a picture of her so you can still see her. She is the same chicken as Dorothy, except she has the black feathering and she's got the golden lacing around her neck. I came out here, I was like, wow, she's really just sitting there in the nesting box. And after a couple days of it, I was like, well, I might as well go get her some eggs. So now she's sitting on her eggs, doing her thing because Silkies and Cochins are really known for being broody. She's not even a year old and she's already proven that, that she's, she's pretty broody. So I'm really excited and I'll make a video about how she's, I guess just what to expect with a broody hen, how they act and what happens like when the chicks actually come and what she does. So when the time comes, I'll make a video on that as well. Next here, I have Rainbow Dash and she lives up to her name. If you can tell, our six-year-old named her, but we wanted to come up with a clever name with how fast she is because she was constantly just taking off and we really struggled to catch her. And she's always the first one to dart away. She's really quick and as she's running, she kind of like flies with her run. It's really cute. But she is our olive egger. Now I know olive eggers are not technically a breed, but they are a cross between two different breeds that will end up making them lay an olive colored egg. And I'll make another video on my olive egger, Easter eggers and mint eggers. She is not old enough yet to be laying eggs, but when they do all start laying eggs, I'll make a video based off of like each chicken and the color egg that they lay. But I'm really excited for her to lay eggs to actually see like the exact shade of egg that they have. But yeah, she is not the biggest fan about being held, but she puts up with me, right? <laughs> and she too, she is gray and her head is a little bit more dark than the rest of her body. She does have slight feathering going down her leg onto her foot. Yeah, she just wants to take off. She's not a big, the biggest fan about being held. So I'll let her go. <laughs> so this little chicken right here, her name is Helene. She is what we were told is an Easter egger and she does have the frizzled gene. So as you can see her feathers, they curve outwards rather than with her body. And with this, it does make it harder for them to keep the heat out and keep heat in during like the winters. But living where we do, it doesn't necessarily get that cold and that hot. So I think that she'll do just fine. And we've got plenty of shade around here that they can find shade if they need to. But she's just a cute little thing. We like having her. And we're excited to see what color eggs that she'll end up laying when she does start to lay eggs. Look at her. She looks like she's got a little bad hairdo. <laughs> you gonna take off too? You got it. Good job. This right here is Edna and she is a Cochin Silky Mix as well. That's what we were told 
not 100% sure on that, but regardless, we still love her no matter what. We just like her personality and something fun with her, if you can tell. On the one, she's got six toes, and the other one here, she only has five. So I thought that was interesting about her, how she's got different toes on each foot. She's like, what are you doing? <laughs> and let's go. This right here is Muriel. She is our mint egger. She is probably our most friendly out of all the chickens that we have. Whenever we come out, she'll come walking right up to us right away. And she's looking for treats, of course. And even for my daughter, my daughter's able to hold her with no problems at all. And she'll just sit there for us. Um, she's really pretty within the sunlight. Her feathers kind of turn like this iridescent, like a blue and uh, purple in it. So we like to see that when the sun lands on her. And of course, she's just happy to be around, always looking for treats and everything like that. And when she gets a little older, she should be giving us some mint eggs. So hopefully midsummer, late summer, she should be laying. She's a beautiful chicken. Oop, she found a fly. <laughs> okay, you ready? You gonna fly away? Go ahead. Jump. <laughs> These two, I like to call them twins. We bought them together. The breeder wanted us to take both of them, not just one, so we did. Um, we named them Sapphire and Ruby because they, well, there goes one. I'll hold just the one then. Um, they are blue laced red wine dots. This was a chicken that we got just specifically because I like the way that they look. I thought they're really beautiful. These two, they tend to stick together and they kind of separate themselves from everybody else. They're very easy going. We're able to pretty much just walk right up to them and pick them up. They don't really try to run away or anything like that. So this right here is Zelda. She is our Polish naked neck. And my husband and I really wanted to get a Polish. And when we went to a swap, we seen her and we just knew we had to have her as soon as we seen her in that same place they had like barred polish that had the full feathered necks but she just was looking like she needed a home and we gave it to her <laughs> she's very skittish um because of the polish they have the feathers like this top hat like that so they can't necessarily see that well and so because of that she ends up getting scared a lot more easy than the other birds because they can see you coming up or other things going on where with her she can't necessarily see that well but we love her. She, we just think she's the cutest little thing. And they stand up a lot more tall. She's probably just gonna fly immediately, but so you can get a better look of her. Ooh, yep. <laughs> this right here is Gladys. She is our cream leg bar. In my opinion, she's probably the most beautiful one that chicken that we have here. And she should lay a beautiful blue egg really excited for her to lay too. She is also really bold when I come out. She's one of the first ones to come up to me looking for treats and she's not afraid of our big girls. She just does her own thing and soon enough she'll pass them up because the two bigger ones they are bantam sized and she is a standard so she should get pretty big. I love the way her tail looks as she's walking around strutting her stuff. She's just a beautiful bird. Right. Should we do your little takeoff too? You ready? You got it. <laughs> this right here is Goldie. She's your typical looking Easter egger. She is kind of a loner in her flock and that makes me sad. I, she, she can get along with the other chickens, but for the most part, she kind of just does her own thing. She does have this pretty beard going on and I absolutely love how she looks. And she also has the earlobes with the feathers kind of coming out, the little muffs there. And she should either lay a blue, green, maybe even a pink egg. We'll see. So I'm excited to see what she lays. That's the exciting thing about the Easter Eggers is you never know what they're, you're going to get when they start laying their eggs. As you can see, she kind of has this gold lacing throughout her neck here. And that's why we ended up naming her Goldie along with her eyes. They're pretty golden. Well, this was my difficult catch right here, Beatrice. <laughs> She is not shy at all when I come out. She comes right at me. She'll be looking up at um, my legs, really trying to stretch out and see what I have when I come and sit down to give treats. 
But man, this is my first time holding her since she was pretty small because she is quick. I had to have my daughter in the coop helping me try to check her down. And she has, I don't know if you can really see in the video, but she's got some purple feathering. Well, not purple, but the iridescent and the sunlight. It's purple and she kind of has the red throughout her neck here too. And the breeder told us that she's an Easter egger as well. So some kind of a mix. Um, yep, again, once they start laying eggs, I'll show each chicken talk about the breed and then um show the eggs that they have started to lay and she's got a beautiful comb here going on this one she put up a fight she's making me sweat <laughs> try to catch my breath almost but yeah i i hope that these the feathering kind of shows up in the video that iridescent in there but i know she don't want to be held so we'll let her go too so this right here is Dottie. She was putting up a fight too, getting caught. <laughs> she is our naked neck. As you can see, she has no feathers on her neck. This was an adaptation that they made throughout the years for like uh, warmer climates so that they're able to stay a little more cooled down. And she's got the feathered legs as well. And she is bold. When I give out treats, um, the big girl, Dorothy, she's always the first one on top and little Dottie will come running underneath her to try to like grab the um, treats from from Dorothy and Dorothy sometimes will kind of attack her and Dottie just takes it and she'll be right back trying to get more. So she's really outgoing and she's not afraid of anything except for being caught of course. <laughs> but she's okay right because we just love her. A little closer shot of her neck so you can kind of see how she doesn't have the feathers going there the naked neck breed. We named her Dottie. She kind of looks like she's got little dots. All right, you can go now. This here is Sweet Cheek. She was the last one I was able to catch from inside the coop. And she, we were told as well that she's an Easter egger. So again, we'll kind of see, and it's harder to tell with the frizzled like this. To me, she feels a little bit different than Helene, the gray frizzled one. To me, she feels a lot more like velvet almost. So I really like to just sit and kind of pet her just because she's very unique as far as the way that she feels and her feathers and of course her little hairdo going on with the top hat there but we named her sweet cheeks um we got her when she was about five days old and right away you could tell she had like the puffs in her cheeks there so that's how she got her name she's just a little walking ball of <laughs> ball of fluff she's just cute as you can see she just got all black features where the other ones they may be all black but the different color like skin and the feet and everything but Oh, now she just wants to hang out. But as you can tell, she's just kind of like a little ball of fur. You don't want to jump, huh? Yeah, she's kind of used to me handling her more because I do like to just sit and pet her. You can see the feathers kind of fling right back into place. If you watched my video on Chick 101, you'll recognize this little girl. This is our Polish. And her name is Pom Pom because of her head. I don't know if from the last video you can tell a little bit more that she's got the top hat going on. <laughs> yep, she's really coming along. Hopefully she will find out here pretty soon. But yeah, she's very outgoing. She's always running little laps really fast, always on the go. Oh, is it different being outside? Again, this is a chicken that you would recognize from my last video. Her name is Grace. She's a Lavender Orpington. She's fully feathered, ready to come out, but we're going to wait for the other two so she's not so lonely. She's coming along just pretty. Ooh, I think she wants to go hang out with the big girls. Maybe I'll let her do that. Yep, I guess so. <laughs> and last but not least, this is little Midnight. She's our little silky chick. She won't get too big because they only are really in like a bantam size. They only get... I think it's around 30 some ounces. I'll have to check on that and I'll put it up here so that you can see exactly what she should be getting to about. She is a silky, so she can't really fly. My other two, they're always jumping up in the brooder and perching on the top. And she always just kind of stays down at the bottom because she can't really get anywhere. And that's probably why she's a little more comfortable just sitting here because she can't really fly down. But she's just real cute. She's really loud throughout the day, so she's always talking my ear off in the house. Yeah. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing to my channel. I would really appreciate it. 
I have more videos that I would like to do as far as like I said earlier about like the mint eggers, Easter eggers and olive eggers to kind of go over that a little bit more in depth. Today I just wanted to kind of do a little bit more of a fun thing and talk about the different breeds that I have within my flock and just introduce them all, say their name and the personality a little bit just so you guys can kind of get a feel for what I'm working with here. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and please watch out for more of my videos. Dorothy and she has a lot more to catch but sometimes she goes down and stop and let me grab her and sometimes she's very quick but the little ones those baby chicks and the medium ones them they they really go crazy but they run around and run and run away from me but Rainbow Dash she's really quick